it set up. <laughs> hey there. So my hair is different. I'm trying out different hairstyles to see what might work for the, well, what I felt comfortable in and also what might be appropriate for the airline. I haven't started asking. Um, I did pose a question in my flight attendant career connection. Um, I did pose a question in a Facebook group about my hair, but it was when well, my hair's curly and has some like, lighter color in it. So I wanted to pose a question and ask, like, is this appropriate? But I have to ask the right people too. I'm gonna email some of the recruiters that have emailed me to find out which hairstyles are okay. And I'll just send them like a few pictures because I wanna make sure, I don't, my hair doesn't look good back. It's not to the state where it, it's good for that. But if I have to, I will. Like I'll make it work for sure. Except that I don't, I just haven't really dived into that, dwelled into that, so. It is November 16th. My training is November 25th, I'll leave one to two days prior. Um, I have my information packet, which was sent to me uh, maybe earlier this week. I think it was Wednesday, no, Tuesday, November 12th. I remember this specifically because Monday the 11th was Veterans Day, and that was basically two weeks from my training date. And I remember getting an email saying that you'll get your training packet within two weeks of your training date. And so I figured that, okay, they're probably not gonna send it today, they'll probably send it tomorrow since today's holiday. So I have that, and when I got it, I felt extremely overwhelmed. Because I also got a couple other like information things from other things, like for my modeling, and then for something else. I It was for uh, my promotional work. It was all at one time. So I felt so overwhelmed um, with everything. And plus, I didn't know I had to wear, we have to wear something super specific for training, like super specific. I assume just from reading other people's guidelines for their airline of what to wear for training, I kept hearing business casual, business casual. And so I started separating my clothes and getting my clothing together of all the business casual stuff that I have or business stuff that I have. And then I even bought some extra like business pants because I lost a lot of weight and the other pants, a lot of my pants don't fit me right. Well, then I found out that the clothes that I have to wear, the outer garments, right? My suit jacket, pants or skirt has to be charcoal gray. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I was like, great! And you know, I could tell that they're very serious about following guidelines and, and you know, being compliant and not trying to think outside the box when it comes to what you're wearing and what they tell you to do. And sometimes, in the past, that, that has been a little difficult for me. I do follow the rules. When it comes to style though, that it's that's hard because like I'm a model and I have a, my own personal style. But I get it, I mean, I, I kinda got it quick. So I've been shopping, doing a lot of stuff on Poshmark. So, you know, I would like save and like all these things and then I look through them again. And it's like, okay, these shoes, I have a little bit of doubt because there's a little bow and it did say no adornments must be plain. So just take it out. When in doubt, don't. I did get a watch, even though it's pretty, it's very professional. It has little tiny diamonds on it though for each number on the watch. And that could be non-compliant because it did say specifically that the watch cannot have adornments and that's an adornment. Even though I did also take another step because when I bought the watch, it was already on. So it's like, well, how long has this watch been on? And what if the battery dies while I'm in class? So, because usually batteries, I mean, a watch lasts for at least a year or two before the battery dies, but, you know, just to be safe, I went to a watch place to, like, they checked the battery for me, and they said, oh, this has a, at least another two years of life. And I was like, oh, wow, okay, cool. So I threw them a few bucks. Because taking a watch battery back off is not as hard as it is putting it back on. I think it's, like, nearly impossible if you don't have the right. I tried to buy 
buy some off of him, but he didn't, he didn't sell that kind of stuff. So I am going to get another watch that's like super basic and that prob I probably won't like. Even though I spent 40 bucks on that dog on watch, it's a nice watch. I just am not a watch wearer. And I know that you can't wear smart watches because I would have just bought one of those because I'm pretty sure that after training, you can wear a smart watch because I think that, that for me would be the best bet to do. But you know, right now, and maybe for a while, I'm not going to get a smart watch because I, I got to watch my finances. So I did, I did buy a bunch of stuff on Poshmark. I bought, um, and I went to a consignment or a thrift store. Thrift stores are great because they usually color, they color coordinate things so it's easy to find stuff. So I did, I was able to get a couple charcoal gray suit jackets. Now did I need two? Actually, and I ordered another one on Poshmark. I have three suit jackets, which is kind of a lot. Um, and they're various shades of gray, but they're all darker gray. Um, and then I got, I have a gray skirt, but it has, it has, it's not super plain in the back. It has like a little, like three little ruffle things, which might not work. So I did buy another one, and then I did order a couple on Poshmark as well. Um, I have some gray pants, but they're slight hip huggers, and it says specifically no, pants must be worn at the waist. Are they going to check that? They probably will. You know, so I want to. So I did buy a pair of pants. Gosh, I feel like I might need another pair. I think I bought two pairs. Now pants I can wear. You can wear pants quite a bit. I can wear one pair of pants for like some days and wash them. You know what I mean? I can I can do that. And then I'll have skirts. So I think I'll at least have five bo bottoms. One, two, three. I'll have at least five bottoms, which is great. And then white uh, blouses, button-down blouses. So I did buy a couple on Poshmark. I went to the store, and it's hard to find basic plain white blouses like that. So I bought four yesterday, two of one kind and two of another kind. And I get home and I realize one of them is slightly off-white. Now, I'm not gonna take it back. I'm still gonna wear it because it does look white if it's by itself, but if it's next to something right next to it, then it's like, oh yeah, this is not white. But I'm not gonna buy any more of those. I might buy a couple more of the other kind because I feel like the white shirts will get dirty quicker because it's you know close to my body, it's on my body. And, uh, you know, underarms, around the collar, sweat, whatever. Uh, but I'll be able to hand wash those too and, you know, rewear them if they'll have time to dry. As long as I have a bunch of them. You know, white shirts for me, I cannot keep white. I, I have another white shirt, but it has a three-quarter length sleeve and it says specifically no three-quarter length sleeves. So, <laughs> and then it's kind of not really white. It's like a dingy white. I don't know. Um, I have my shoes. I have a pair of like half, uh, one inch or half an inch heel shoes. They're not cute, but they're very plain. And then I have um, like two and a quarter inch shoes. I have two other black heels. One is a little teeny bit big for me, but it'll work. And then the other one is like perfect. I have a whole bunch of pantyhose. I did order a bunch, but they sent me the wrong size. I've ordered like $60 worth of pantyhose. So I couldn't appreciate it. I didn't really need to order that. But I know these pantyhose. I've had them before. They're so sheer. They're just really good quality. So I bought a whole bunch, but they sent me the wrong size. So hopefully they should be back by Monday, they said. If not, I will be not happy. That would suck. But I'll, I'll use them in place. And they're the type of pantyhose that if I get a run in it, you can't even see it. Because it doesn't even look like I have pantyhose. So hopefully those are okay, but they're super sheer. I did buy a bunch of black trouser socks also for my pants. Because I'm not going to wear my pantyhose with my pants. But I also can wear like probably pantyhose, like me, like for pants too, like sock type ones. That's fine. So I'm just really happy that like I, I have all my clothes basically together. I'm having, I'm, I, right now, because I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, there's also an optional gray sweater you can wear. And for some reason, all I saw was charcoal and gray sweater, right? So I bought three. So I bought three 
Then I read, oops, it has to be a cardigan. And a cardigan is like a button down style. And all the ones I have are closed. So I'm probably still gonna get, get some. I'll find those better at a, a thrift store. Um, uh, and I've seen them, I just didn't get them. Just in case it's cold or just to have just a different look. So, so I guess the next thing really I wanna make sure is to get to get another watch just in case and to like figure out my hair situation. So, more to come. <laughs>